uh, area that we are utilizing uh, non-linearity in order to deal with uh, uncertainty or stochasticity is the design of load cells. Load cells, they have to operate uh, with certain precision. So, and the lower, the, I mean, the higher the precision is, the lower the magnitude of an extreme uh, load can be. And this is, a, uh, this is a challenge for us to come up with a design that will be able to maintain high precision while it will still be able to withstand extreme loads. Using a nonlinear design, we have come up with a um, new type of load cell that is able to uh, provide high precision in small loads and also be able to withstand extreme loads. Every structure, when we design it, we have a rough idea about what the conditions uh, are going to be. But um, that's, uh, if you want, the challenge with the ocean environment that um, trying to describe an ocean environment through the sea state, for example, which is just a single number and tell us how rough the waves are, it will not tell us um, or it will not exclude the possibility of occurrence of a really large wave uh, and we have to be ready for this. It is important for industry to come closer to academia on problems of mutual interest that would be beneficial for industry because they will be able to train prospective prospective employees, engineers, but also it's beneficial for us because we will be able to explore directions that um, of, of high risk uh, that could be beneficial eventually for industry. So we have to go beyond the low-hanging fruit and the only way is to allocate resources. On the other hand, we also have to be consistent with the uh, interests and the challenges that industry uh, faces, but also uh, it's important for academia to get funding so that uh, we can support these research activities. So I think an important challenge uh, for the future that the industry will, will face is the incorporation of uh, the uncertainty factor into the design principles of um, of systems that industry is interested in and um, the development of a computational framework that will be able to take into account of this uncertainty factors would be very beneficial for the industry. Uh, also it will cultivate the necessary mentality for future engineers so that they can pass this knowledge um, and they can, they can spread this knowledge to uh, the industrial environment.